So if you're somebody who is new to cryotherapy or cold therapy or cold plunges, essentially this is intentional cold exposure. What that really means is that you're intentionally putting yourself into some sort of cold therapy for some sort of duration of time and we're going to show you some of the best protocols and things that you can do because there is a lot of evidence that shows that it helps with a lot of health benefits. And I'm gonna share with you some of the best reasons why you should potentially consider using this type of protocol or these types of protocols or these types of modalities. So one of the best benefits when it comes to cold plunges is to improve your mood and improve your energy. We all know what it's like to jump into some cold water or maybe have a little bit of water that's a little bit colder than you think. It kind of shocks your system. And this shock is essentially a release of epinephrine and dopamine that is responsible for mood production and energy production. So we know what it's like when we have a energy or an increase in energy, we typically increase our excitement and our ability to essentially stay focused on tasks. So if you are going to hop into a cold plunge or do a cold shower or even run outside cold when it's really, really cold outside, you might get some of that release of dopamine and that epinephrine that can help improve your mood and improve your energy. And there is a lot of research on dopamine release when it comes to exposure to cold plunges. One of the things you'll notice is that you'll have an improved cognition or improved mental capacity after, as I said before. And this is essentially release of the epinephrine. And again, epinephrine is a hormone that is stimulated for focus and it's really great for task handling. So maybe if you're somebody who has a lot of things to do later on in the day, maybe you're fatigued but you still have a big thing to take care of in the afternoon, maybe it's best that you hop in a cold plunge and get some of that hormone or the epinephrine release so that you can actually focus a little bit better and improve your mood as well as your energy levels and your task focusing. One thing that is also beneficial for cold exposure is the release of epinephrine and its effect on inflammation. So when you use things like this, you can decrease your inflammation. So if you're having pain, sore joints, sore tendons, or you need to learn how to recover a little bit better, having epinephrine being released is responsible for reducing oxidation and improving the immune system response, and specifically when we're talking about T cells. So if we have inflammation in our body, using this for a short period of time can also help increase our recovery and decrease our inflammation. One of the benefits of a cold plunge or cold exposure is actually an increase in blood flow. And contrary to what you may believe that cold showers or cold plunges is actually going to decrease your blood flow, well, its reflexive effect is going to be to vasodilate or dilate. See, when you get into a cold plunge or a cold environment, our body constricts the blood vessels to hold onto that energy into our core. But afterwards, it's going to reflexively or dilate to improve or increase the capacity of those blood vessels so that you can get more blood flow to the system. So again, in a total body cold plunge or a ice bath or a cold shower, you're gonna actually notice more blood flow globally throughout the entire system. Another major benefit is increased mental fortitude or mental toughness. You know, going in one of these things is no joke and it is tough to do and it may be helping you discover tough avenues to tackle in your personal or professional life and it makes things harder in your current controlled environment so that you can tackle harder tasks in the non-controlled environment. So what we're really doing here is we're increasing our brain toughness, we're really improving our mental fortitude, and we're really allowing ourselves to have the best fighting chance when it comes to our day-to-day -day life as well as our professional life. Finally, one of the best benefits for a cold plunge or a cold shower is to improve metabolism. Now, when we talk about metabolism, we're talking about brown fat stores versus white fat stores. And the brown fat is more metabolically active and it keeps us warmer and it is a better source of fat in our body than the white fat. So by converting our white fat to more of a pale or a beige or a brown fat, you're going to be more metabolically active, you're gonna burn more calories, and you're gonna end up potentially losing weight, which then can help you in other areas of your life. So these are some of the top benefits when it comes to using or why you would use a cold plunge. So when it comes to using a cold plunge, 
you might be asking, okay, now I know the benefits. What does the research say? How often should I do this? Well, I can tell you firsthand, it is not easy to do cold plunges. It is not easy to do cold showers. As a matter of fact, the research says that approximately nine to 15 minutes, hovering around that 11 minute mark per week of total exposure is the best capacity for most people. Now, you might be doing two minutes at a time or three minutes and essentially also within a short dose, if you're going really, really cold, you're really talking about two to three minutes at a time, but it doesn't have to be super cold. You don't have to spend a ton of money and you can really get a lot of benefits just by putting your legs in there, your hands in there. And there's really a lot of evidence that shows that you don't necessarily need to jump full body in, in order to get the benefits. But if you do do that, that is also beneficial as well. So. There's a lot of research out there. So if you're somebody who's new to cold plungers or even cold exposure to begin with, start with 10 seconds, 20 seconds, or 30 seconds of a cold shower. Start on warm and slowly start dialing it in. But you really wanna make sure it's cold enough that you really wanna get out. And I would say that some days are easier than others from my experience. This is something that you have to improve over time. And this is not something that is just gonna snap overnight. So make sure you do this safely, make sure you do it controlled and make sure you have fun doing it. And also that you do it safely so that you can actually get the best therapeutic benefit. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to our channel and we'll see you for the next episode.